Hi everyone, hope you can see me. Sorry I couldn't do this on Zoom, internet problems, but hopefully you're going to see what I was going to do anyway. First thing I need to do, put my hood up. Make sure they don't trap any bees. As you can see, the bees are flying around me. They're not bothering me very much. They're quite happy. And that's because they've got plenty to eat and a nice home. Like many of us, we're happy if we've got plenty to eat. If I just lean the camera forward slightly, I've put gloves on because I don't want to get stung today. Ordinarily, I might do it without gloves, but I don't have to stop again after everything. If I lean that forward, you should be able to see this is the door and the bees are going in and out. Now then, as long as I don't interfere with their way in and out, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is go around the back of the hive and work from there. Right, here we are. First thing I'm going to do is get the smoker. And that's got some smoke when I puff out, some smoke comes out, the smell of smoke. And I just do that gently into the door and it, it makes the bees think that there might be a fire. So what they do, they start eating honey in case they have to take it with them. While they're eating honey, they're happy, they're busy, they're not bothered. So they shouldn't bother me. So I'm going to take the lid off, which is there. You'll see there's some sugar underneath it. That's something I put on to feed the bees while it was raining. Pop that down there, out of the way. Okay. There we go. The next thing is what we call the crown board, or the lid. And that's got the sugar sitting on it. Look, can you see? There's the sugar. I'm just going to make sure there's no queen bee on here, and it doesn't look like there is. No, there's no queen bee on there. I wouldn't like to drop her, she's rather expensive. And there you can see the bees are having their dinner. Can you see those? Those, quee those bees having a little bit of dinner. There they are. And they're really quite friendly. So, we'll put those down here. In this box there could be 30,000, 40,000, up to 90,000 bees. That's a nine and five noughts. That's an awful big number. And it's about as many people as you get in a big football stadium. Up here now is where the bees will be storing their honey. They'll be keeping their honey ready for the winter. Before the winter comes, I'm going to come and take that and put it in jars and keep it for myself. And then I'll replace it with some more of that sugar. So I get the honey, they get the sugar. Everybody's happy, hopefully. So there'll be a few little bees in there. I know the queen won't be in there. And the reason I know the queen won't be there is because I put this mesh. I'm going to gently move it with my hive tool. Just give them a little bit more smoke. Can you see the smoke? Oops, careful. Just a little bit of smoke. It's cool smoke and it just makes them quiet. These are very friendly bees. There's no queen there. I'm going to put that there. The queen is too big to fit through the gap. So she can't get out. But the other bees can and they can get up and fill that box with their honey. So let's put that there. That's it. Sit nice and tidy there. Now then. I'm going to take out the first frame. That's what we give to the bees. It's just got some flat wax on it. It just helps them start. They don't need it, but it just gives them a bit of a head start. I'll pop that down there for now. Then I'm going to go into the middle of the hive and take a frame out from there and come and show it to you. What would be great was if we saw the queen, but we don't always, because sometimes she's shy and she hides. So... I'm taking this out now, and inside here I can see, let me come down to you. Let's see if you can see what I can see. Well, you can see lots of bees for a start. But in some of those cells, can you see, there's like a grub. A little grub. A white grub. And that's going to become a bee. Some of the cells up here with a light white colour with my fingers pointing, look there. Can you see that? I can't see it. There you go, there. That's got honey in it, but that's for the bees to eat. And we don't touch that. 
so what would be great was if we saw the queen now the queen looks different because she's bigger she's bigger than the, uh, the these are all girls by the way these are all females she's bigger than all the females and also she's got uh, a coloured spot on her back that we put on so that we know how old she is so let's go back and have a look on some other frames let's see if we can see the queen no not down there where are you queen let's see you now there's evidence that she's been there because there are lots and lots of eggs now can you see the way i turn that so i can look at that horizontally and i'm looking and i'm seeing lots and lots of eggs on there so i'm hoping that means my queen is laying and there's lots more on this side as well so hopefully things are going quite well we'll take one more out and have a look at you I can't show you any boy bees because they're all out they don't do anything in the hive they don't serve any purposes they can't sting they don't collect honey or anything like that they only have one purpose and that's what they're out doing now they're looking for a queen now then on here we've got lots and lots of bees and they're all very happy look they're quite happy to be there I can touch them with my glove look gently and they'll just move out the way nobody's stinging me if they were to sting me you would see it stick into my glove it wouldn't go through my glove but it would stick into my glove okay so I'm looking at them I'm looking I'm checking that they're all looking healthy they've all got nice wings on them none are ready to hatch out yet but I'd like to see that queen but if I can't see her that doesn't matter so we'll check another one there we go is she on there and I'll see her because she's got this blue oh there's a boy I think I thought a boy bee did I no the boys are bigger than the girls and they've got they're, a bit, they're not quite as pointy at the end and that's how you can identify them but they're all out at the moment anyway so that's that so that's all the bees out there one more on here look as we go out towards the edges there should be more honey and less yep there's lots of honey in there and I can collect that later and that'll be super and maybe when the new term starts if I've collected some I'll bring some in for you to have a taste of and there they are they just oh there's a boy there's one now the last one I saw flew off I think that one has as well oh no he's there now then let's have a look see if you can see at the end of my hive tool look can you see that's a boy there you see he's got a more of a black base and he's a bit bigger than the rest that's what we call a drone okay there he is you can see him on the frame he's called a drone and he's a male and he doesn't do a fat lot as I say he can't even mm -hmm. sting doesn't make any honey or anything so there are the bees now then these bees go out every day if it's the sun shining they don't like going out in the rain and they will go out and they will fly for up to two or three miles that's say from school to the center of Shrewsbury every day and they collect nectar that they take and make into honey and they also bring in pollen that they use in the hive and they use that and it flavours the honey I'm just looking to see if anybody's brought any in and they, they bring it in on their knees on some baskets on their knees and that's when it comes in that flavours the honey as well and makes it different and you can taste different flavours in honey depending on whether your um, uh, beehive is in an orchard as you can see mine's underneath an apple tree there's the apples growing up so mine will fly, taste different to somebody who's perhaps got it in their garden amongst all the flowers right they've been opened up enough now I'm going to close them up I'm going to shut them up there I'm going to put all the things back together again and hopefully you'll have seen your booklet had a look at booklets tell you a little bit about the bees 
and I will keep you informed, I'll keep you in touch on how well they're going. So once again, I'm sorry I didn't get to the Zoom, but hopefully you can pick this up on YouTube.